everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the Lego Technic tracked crane. Um, it's actually called the crawler crane. So that's uh, the, the cover of the instruction book. This is how far we made it in part one. We basically have the, the tracks built and we have a little bit of the, the turntable built. So it's the main chassis. So we're on to bags number two. Just two bags. Doesn't seem like there's too many parts, but um, let's go ahead and open these up and sort the parts so we can get right into the build. All right, so we have everything open and sorted for bag number two. And just like bag number one, we're gonna start with this frame element and start connecting our pins to it. So something that was cool about this bag number two, or the two bags of number two, is there are a lot of gears in this portion of the build, which should be fun. We get to see a lot of mechanical functions and all the cool stuff that goes into Technic sets. So I'm looking forward to get to that part of the build, which hopefully won't be too far. Eleven long lift arm. Oops, we're supposed to be making two of these. I didn't realize that until we're almost done with them. It's all right, catch up real quick. These aren't supposed to go on the very last hole, they're supposed to go on the second to the last hole. Push it in, push that in. There we go. Couple more of these things, or I guess three long pin slash axle. Couple thin lift arms. Now we have this axle with a stop. We're gonna put a bushing all the way on. And then a four long axle with a stop. Put one of these large gears on. So we're gonna start the gears. medium sized gray one. Turn it over. Slide it on there. shaped left arm, three friction pins, a 
long axle with a stop. 15 long beam. another four long axle with a stop and then we have a tan bevel gear friction pin right there and then another bevel gear on that same axle Like we rotate this around. Insert it there. Five long axle that we're going to put on this little clutch gear selector. And then we have these little selector gear pieces. And this one, oh, actually, this is a just a spinning gear. I don't know what the exact term of it is. We'll put an axle joiner here. And I'm going to slightly pull them apart because remember we want this to spin freely. Alright, we have two of these. These both get the red gears. One is going to go here, and the other one's going to come around, go right there. Put a couple bevel gears over there. Make sure they're not squeezed too tight. So if you see it kind of jiggle a little bit, that, that means it's just about right. Looks like we're going to create some more gearing. Small black bevel gear goes there. Put a bushing on there. Once again, don't squeeze it too tight. Can't stress that enough. Axle with the gear goes there. 
and then the tan bevel gear. So I'll slide that on. That interlocks with the other one. So that black one is interlocked with the tan one. Next is gray. Bushing. have those axle joiners on there and same thing with the axle joiners I try to leave a little bit of a gap there just so they could spin That goes there. They put a little diagram in here. This is kind of what I'm talking about. See how they're showing you that little check mark next to this? And you can see there's a gap in there. And then they're saying no, don't don't squeeze it too tight. So that's kind of what I've been talking about is leaving a little bit of room in there for them to move. Three long axle there and a four long axle here. So we bring our little gearbox over. And this should all slide in just like that. Oops. Pull that out. Forgot to add one of these first. Now we can slide it in. Everything should interlock. There it goes. Alright, so you can see we're making a pretty complex gearbox. Rotate these two axles down and then we push them through. That will hold that together. Four long axle with a Stop. Another one of these red little just free spinning gears. Now we have these selector pieces. That's kind of what I was saying with these little white axle connectors. Is there actually a gear selector piece? So once we have these things on, um, we'll 
be able to select the gear that we want. See it kind of pops over and then it'll pop back. So when it pops over it interlocks with one of these red ones and it'll be able to turn it. And then when it pops out, it deselects it. Alright. We'll play with it later. We've got to finish building it first. these axles with the little bushing stop piece in the middle. Okay. This goes through there. One. Two and three more. Those red gears. Let's see, we have two bushings. small tooth gear. This little bit of gear slides right there. Now we have two clutch gears. And these gears basically are what saves your motor from burning out. So if you uh, are building a Anything with a motor attached to gears, the gears can and will typically get binded up and stop. And this, these two white clutch gears, if you have that in your drivetrain, they, they'll save that motor from getting completely damaged. All right, so have that large gear in there too. Like we have the transmission or gearbox built. Now we're going to start framing it in with some of these Technic pieces. And this is where it can get a little tricky. Gonna have everything kind of lined up just right. There we go. Seems to work. Alright, still have a few more gears. So we're gonna slide one on here, and then we have this little bushing that has a pinhole basically. Do the same right here. Ok, 
carefully put that down because those pieces will fall out if you're not careful. With this in place, we slide it over all of these exposed axles. And that will hold all that together. Do a couple pieces like this. that together. holes. These will go up under here. Bevel gear is going to slide in here. over. We have a tiny little gear and then a bushing. And this will go I squeeze that on too hard. Actually, I kind of know I did. Let's see if I can pull it out some. Slightly redo this. I'm really trying not to squeeze anything on too tight because there's so many gears and there's going to be so much change of direction. The, the looser I can get these turning, the better. So try not to have any type of rubbing or friction on there.
slide that piece in there and this is our last gear for this bag goes right there joiner in there and then these five long axles will slide all the way through and interlock that piece very good take this little flag flap type thing put it like this I wonder what that's for it's like a, a guard or something more pieces this will go through there this will go through there that goes all the way across holds that together This piece goes in here. And now we have our large motor. So this motor is what's going to connect right here. Before I do that, I'm going to give these a few turns just to make sure that everything is turning right because you don't want to find out once you have it all covered up that something's not turning looks like we're good there and the reason I did that before I put the motor in because the motor actually is uh, in a locked position until you attach it to the battery so see now I, I can't turn it because the motor is locked so this slides through this little gap and that's why this this little piece was there that's what I was saying it's some kind of guard so it prevents the cord from going down in there and getting caught up in the gears. Alright, so that is pretty cool. So we are done with bag number two and um, we're looks like we're still a little bit of ways from attaching it to the body because it looks like it's going to have to go something like this somehow. 
Yeah. So that bevel gear right there, that black one, actually interlocks with this turntable. You can kind of see how that is turning that. But you can see we're still a ways away from getting all this part built for it. So we're going to save that for part three. So um, appreciate you guys watching. Tell me your thoughts. How cool is this? We did this full gearbox. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. It all came together pretty nicely. Got our motor on there. So very cool stuff. Tell me your thoughts. Put a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other parts and we will see you tomorrow.